All right, let's review the perfect drug card and safe medication administration. As you guys know, drug cards have so much information on them, and usually students like yourself are shoved into a corner and told to memorize all this information on these drug cards, right? So introducing the Fab Five, the top five things that you should have on your drug cards. Now these love to show up on exit exams, finals, your regular exams, and ultimately the NCLEX. So relax, let me show you what is the most tested. So the first thing you should have on your drug card is the name of the drug. It sounds simple enough, right? Well, each drug has only one generic name, but may also have multiple brand or trade names. The big key point is that the NCLEX only tests on generic names, not brand or trade names. So here's an example. Generic name of the drug is Warfarin. The brand name or trade name is Coumadin. Ibuprofen is another generic name, but the brand or trade is Advil or Motrin. And a big one here is acetaminophen, brand name Tylenol. Now the difference is that generic is the non-proprietary or basically the purest form. And the trade names or brand names are given by the company that is creating or producing the drug. So the best way to explain this is kind of like coffee. Let's just say ibuprofen is coffee, but what brand created it? Well, is it Starbucks? Is it coffee bean? That would be like the brand Advil or Motrin. It's still generic coffee, right? But the names are different when we see which brand or which company is making the drug. The next big one is the class or classification of the medication. This puts medications into a category based on what they do inside the body or to the body. So pharmacological action is the desired action of the medication. For example, anti-infectives like antibiotics would be penicillin. Anticoagulants, like blood thinners, would be heparin or warfarin to prevent clots. Antihypertensives to lower the blood pressure, for example, would be labetalol. Now we go into way more detail in the pharmacology mastery course, but this is just a few examples. The next big category is mechanism of action, also called chemical action. Basically, how does the drug work in the body? For example, penicillin's mechanism of action Hey there, nursing student, listen up. Did you know only 20% of our videos are here on YouTube? You're missing out on over 900 videos not on YouTube, plus 500 visual study guides that follow along every video, and a massive quiz bank to test your knowledge. All neatly organized in our new app. Try it for free. Visit simplenursing.com today. Breaks down the cell wall of bacteria to completely destroy it. Next up, we have indication what's known as the therapeutic effect. Basically, what is the expected effect of the drug? One drug may have two effects at once. So for example, antibiotics that specialize in ear infections, or even antibiotics that specialize in GI infections or skin infections, etc., etc. Now this indication gets a little more specific than the regular mechanism of action. It's like saying, hey, I'm a nurse. Okay, well, what kind of nurse are you? Are you an ER nurse? Are you an ICU nurse? Are you a pediatric nurse? What kind of nurse are you? And lastly, we have side effects. These are expected effects of the medication. For example, nausea and vomiting. And as you're soon gonna find out, everything in terms of medication causes nausea and vomiting. Now we're gonna get into more drug key terms, but first a little side note here. Are drugs pregnancy safe? Well, some instructors love to highlight this part. These are the pregnancy warnings of drugs, classified by level of potential harm to the fetus. So remember, A is the most safe, just kind of like getting an A plus in class. You are safe. You don't have to really worry about your grade. Now, the farther you go down, the more you have to worry, down to X, which is the most dangerous and causes the most harm to the little baby fetus. So on your exams, if a question comes up as to which medication would you give to a pregnant client, Always go with class A and never class X. Okay, now for the key terms. Therapeutic effect is the expected response of the medication. For example, giving Vicodin for pain, we're gonna expect decreased pain. And as mentioned before, a side effect is the expected effects from a medication. For example, giving a pain med can cause nausea and vomiting. Now this is very different than adverse effects, so please be sure to write this down. Unexpected effects 
and severe response. This is not a side effect. This is an unexpected effect. For example, an allergic reaction. This can manifest as hives or even respiratory distress. The next big one is toxic effect, where we see an accumulation of medication in the blood. An example is overdosing on a medication or long-term intake of the medication can lead to toxicity and even difficulties eliminating the medication due to renal failure or even clients who are elderly. So just look at our chart here. We want our clients to be in this therapeutic range, not too much to be toxic and not too little to be ineffective. Just a nice therapeutic range. The next key term here is synergistic effect. When giving similar medications together at the same time, they have a greater impact than when given alone. For example, pain medication and drinking alcohol. Now these are both sedatives and make the body low and slow, causing massive drops here. Or on the other side, caffeine and Adderall, which is a medication for ADHD. Now both are stimulants, so they're gonna get you really up, really wired. So the heart rate and blood pressure will go up. And lastly, but not least, is contraindications. So when not to give a medication? A great example is acetaminophen, Tylenol, and a client with liver disease. As you know, Tylenol is very tough on the liver. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate, and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos.